had an interview earlier, and I guess this is part two of the interview, correct? Yeah, there's no talking on this one. Oh, okay. Just drawing on this okay, one. Okay, just draw. Look at me, buddy, Daddy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come from that side of your club. Yeah, I'm on the other <laughs> north part of it. I'm just, you're not sleeping yet. What are you thinking about? How you doing over there? Oh. Hey. <laughs> No, it's not it's my okay. fault. You're, You're an artist. You have to be able to express yourself. <laughs> hey. No, we need more. Did you get a goodie bag? Bye, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. 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 Her song. I know. It's so nice. Thank you very much. Yeah. We'll do one Huh? Do you want to see what he's Well, they doing? should probably maybe have from nine. Be late when you're here. And then Roy said he would take one. That's take a beer? Promise. It's done. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's still there. <laughs> I could I could edit that. There it is. I got my crayon. I got my shadows. <laughs> Mr. Shadow. Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> <laughs> the red. Where's our red? It's Christmas. We gotta get that little red nose. <laughs> no. <laughs> me, you remember me? Oh, yeah. yeah, of course. It's hard to forget. And that's Fritzy, Stephen Lombardo. <laughs> All right, ready? Cool. Here we go. We are ready. <gasps> Whoa. Uh -huh. Hello, Stephen Paul with Fritzy Brothers. Today I am at Great Bay Distributors in St. Pete. Lars got me the gig. It's a symbiotic relationship. I get him a gig, he gets me a gig. It's the way I think all uh, performers should work. And a lot of them do. This is my second year? Yeah, this is, this second is my year. second year working this gig with Lars. Lars, as you all know, is the caricature artist. I wanted Lars to be in the interview when we did Avala with uh, Suzanne, Rich, Rich Brown, Brown, and, and Tony Hernandez. Tony Hernandez. Tony. Yeah. But he, he wasn't there, so. In fact, I think I mentioned, oh, Lars is late, so yes, yeah. he's not going to be on the interview. He just wanted an interview of his I, own. Lars, how long have you been drawing caricatures? Whew. Okay, when I was at art school, at Ringling School of Art and Design, I, um, I, was, I was in figure class, and a friend of mine, Tim McKenna, who actually introduced me to the Lord eventually through his, what he was doing, he, was, he told me I can come draw caricatures with him at a Shell Seafood restaurant. So I, like, I went there one night. I loved it. I sat there and sketched. I'm like, what, you make money doing this? I was amazed. Since 1994, I would say I started drawing caricatures. And then I started doing it at Lever Rocks on Clearwater Beach. I didn't know Instead you... Instead of serving tables, I started drawing people. I didn't know you did stuff at Shells. Did Shells. you know that I worked at Shells? Yes, I know. <laughs> Lars and I have been friends since 1995. Yeah, I remember the first gig. Can I say that real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was Innisbrook. And I was with Jeff Rask. Oh Rascatoons. Yeah, yeah. And it was at Innisbrook. Jeff, he's the one that recommended me. Jeff did. Cool. And uh, I was working out there, and I remember looking over at you, entertaining, and I was mesmerized, yes. You've been married for how long? So I've been married my wife, Debbie Robinson, since 1994. 1994. Yeah, and you have a son. Yes. And how old is your son? He is 19, and he's now a Gator in University of Florida, and I'm very proud of him. Very but good. But I think he wants to go in the Lord's hand and, and kind of go into missions as well. Very cool. I hope so. I'd say. Lars not only draws amazing caricature and portraits, but he is also a chef. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, has there ever been a time where you fused the two of these together at one gig? One gig. Yes, I have provided um, functions where I brought food in for the event and then also drawn caricatures at it. Yes, I have. Yeah, I've actually on um, Brookdale Careers website, if you go to Multi Talented, search Multi Talented, you see an article about me in there, which was really, I was really proud to have, have them write that about me. I just always enjoyed being a servant. So, whatever I could do to try to help people, that's what I wanted to do. But of course, I eventually just want to do my freelance work in my studio. But nowadays, with photography and everything taking over, it's very hard as an illustrator to, to do that full time. I continue doing the best work I possibly can every client I have, 
and entertain people as best as I can. And I've I've always learned. I've learned from people like you um, how you entertain people and I try I try to have that rub off on me. I learn from other artists that I really admire. Norma Rockwell, some of those masters are a big inspiration to me too. The most memorable, everything went perfect and you'd like to maybe use it as an outline to try to happen again. It was when I used to work at the pier with you in St. Pete and I had a photographer, I had a great photo of all these ladies watching me. I was in heaven, I put my hands up, I'm in heaven. And then I had this photographer here in a yellow shirt, like taking a photo of me. I don't know if you remember that photo, it's true. It but when I look at it, I look so young and I was wearing a tropical shirt and I probably was younger. They're, they're, but I was in heaven because all these ladies were there and I was drawing and wasn't and it, it was the like, wasn't it the uh, Miss Florida? Miss Florida event. Yes. Miss I think Florida it was. event. Lars and so I, I were was, surrounded I was by that. women and Jack Harris was there. Yes. Oh that was my great. goodness. Lars is going to be drawn. I'm going to go ahead and get some different, fo uh, a little bit of video of him awesome. drawing. Yeah. And, uh, and he's going to entertain you'll see some of his kids. stuff in action. It's a great day. It's a beautiful day in Tampa Bay. At we're great at client. Great Bay Distributors. I'm going to tell you how I originally got him. I, I got this client. I was actually working at Bel Air Country Club, which is another one of my clients. And I was up there drawing in the bar, and I met one of the people that had man like they own this. And I was drawing them, and that's how I got it. Entertainment oh. is not hunting, it's farming. You're planting this seed. You're not going out just shooting, bringing home the game. Isn't that how the you're Lord You're planting works too? the seed, you're watering, you're putting a lot of fertilizer on it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of time you don't think makes A lot of schmoozing yeah. Yeah, and smoozing. praying for the rain. And the rain comes. How could someone watching get a hold of you? Lars ER Arts is my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and also my website. Lars ER Arts. I also am so blessed to be able to have you as a friend and a fellow entertainer. Well, thank you, Lars. Click the like button, make a comment, and subscribe to Fritzy Brothers.